a Wikivide Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Bloodshot Comics Bloodshot is a fictional comic book superhero appearing in books published by the American publisher Valiant Comics. The character was created by Kevin Van Hook, Don Perlin, and Bob Layton. Publication History Bloodshot was created in 1992 by Kevin Van Hook, Don Perlin, and Bob Layton, with the name being suggested by David Klistek, during a wave of popularity for the Valiant universe and became an immediate hit with readers, with the first issue ranking number 4 on the Diamond Comic Distributor's Top 100 for November 1992. As one of the most popular Valiant characters, Bloodshot had a continuing run of success, selling millions of copies until Valiant was purchased out for $65 million by Acclaim Entertainment. The comics have been translated into a number of languages included French, German, Italian, Spanish, Norwegian, Filipino, and Chinese, Turkish, among others. In 1996, Bloodshot and a majority of other Valiant Universe characters were rebooted under the banner of Acclaim Comics. The relaunch saw the title moving in a new direction which could be more easily adaptable to video games. Valiant Entertainment is the current owner of the Valiant character catalog. A new volume of Bloodshot was released on July 2012, written by Dwayne Swazinski, following Valiant Comics' relaunch. Plot Summary Bloodshot is a former soldier with powers of regeneration and metamorphing made possible through nanites injected into his blood. After having his memory wiped numerous times, Bloodshot is out to discover who he really is and get vengeance on those who did this to him. Bloodshot's bloodstream contains a billion nanocomputers, enabling him to heal from injuries quickly, interface with technology, and shapeshift his mass. Project Rising Spirit's program to create the ultimate soldier stretches back decades and reached critical mass in the depths of World War II. Though the initial products of the program were crudely enhanced and highly expendable foot soldiers suitable only for the simplest scenarios, these early subjects were able to complete high-intensity missions regardless of any obstacles. Over the decades, these results ensured that the Bloodshot program was consistently earmarked for future development and continued to break new ground. Throughout the 1970s, 80s, and 90s, PRS redefined the nano technology that would power Bloodshot and develop a new artificial intelligence system that allowed him to be deployed in a wider array of off the battlefield counterintelligence and espionage missions. While Bloodshot was self aware to a degree, the human machine hybrid was still deemed to inflict unacceptably high levels of collateral damage. In 2007, another PRS scientist, Drive, Emanuel K. Etish, discovered his employer's intention to redirect the Bloodshot program into a new area, the targeting and capture of the extremely rare, psionically powered children called Science. Alarmed, K. Etish fled PRS for Toyo Harada's Harbinger Foundation, where he secretly began forging a plan to undo PRS several years later. While on a routine mission in Afghanistan, Bloodshot is captured by Ka Etish, who forcibly extracts the records of Bloodshot's missions, with the intent of exposing Project Rising Spirit to the world. The process, however, unlocks all of Bloodshot's false memories, which had been used to motivate him in war zones throughout the world, all at once. PRS fearing that Bloodshot has finally gone rogue, decides to rein him in. Bloodshot escapes capture with the aid of an ambulance driver named Kara Murphy before finally returning to PRS to uncover the truth behind his identity. Tipped off by Ka Etish, Bloodshot storms a PRS facility in Nevada, but finds only the sub-basement facility known as the nursery, built to house the empowered Psyot children captured by Bloodshot. Freeing the nursery's captives has been Ka Etish and Hirada's true objective all along. Bloodshot is forced to combat the nursery's sadistic Psy Jailer Gamma and PRSS outdated cyborg hit squad chainsaw. Bloodshot frees the captive children, including Generation Zero, an action that inadvertently sets off a chain reaction of events that would accumulate in the Harbinger Wars in the Las Vegas Strip. Confronted by Toyo Harada in the aftermath of the PRS breakout, Bloodshot's capacity for free will is overridden by the Harada Protocol a piece of hidden PRS programming that compels him to terminate Harada. 
A vicious battle ensues, which leaves Harada seriously wounded, and bloodshot with a depleted nanit count. In the closing moments of the Harbinger Wars, Bloodshot again falls into Harada's clutches, and spends several weeks as a prisoner of the Harbinger Foundation. During this time, Harada subjects Bloodshot to cruel and painful experiments as he attempts to solve the secret behind the incredibly rare nanites in Bloodshot's bloodstream. However, Project Rising Spirit quickly expedites a rescue led by the HARD Corps. After storming Harada's El Segundo facility, they successfully extract Bloodshot, who shortly thereafter accepts a spot on the HARD Corps roster. Bloodshot is rewarded with a hard copy of the PRS file on his true identity. Bloodshot is deployed across the globe on various missions alongside the HARD Corps, including his assignment to retrieve a former PRS test subject codenamed Prodigal and his supposedly immortal bodyguard. Volume 1 and Volume 2 of Bloodshot keeps the same core story elements with different settings and plots. Volume 1 Angelo Mortali has become the ultimate killing machine. His memories have been erased and his blood has been infused with microscopic computers called nanites. These nanites allow him to heal wounds quickly, dominate electronic devices, and fully control every aspect of his body to maximize his physical capabilities. A modern-day Frankenstein, he wages a one-man war, taking out the Maub, the police and his covert government creators, in his struggle to find out who he was and what he has become. Characters Angelo Mortali, aka Bloodshot Mortali is a ruthless killer climbing the mob ranks when his crime family betrays him and has him framed for murder. He goes into federal witness protection, but is betrayed by one of the FBI members guarding him. He is then kidnapped and taken to be part of an experimental procedure known as Project Rising Spirit. His body is injected with microscopic computers called nanites. The nanites quickly go to work rebuilding his brain and then the rest of his body, unexpectedly reviving Angelo, but erasing his memory in the process. The nanites now fully control Angelo's body giving him augmented reflexes and strength, enhanced hearing, the ability to heal rapidly, and control of electronic devices. Angry, violent and unsure of what he has become, he escapes. Taking the name Bloodshot, he begins the process of piecing together who he was. Don Gino Kenneth Leangelo Mortalize Mafia Boss, and his girlfriend's father is Gino, a ruthless man who will do anything to protect his family. He treats Angelo like a son, when he learns that Angelo has been cheating on his daughter, he orders Angelo set up for the murder of a rival without a second thought. Hideyoshi Iwatsu Iwatsu is an old and dangerous Japanese scientist who created the bloodshot procedure. He is extremely immoral using unwilling volunteers for his experiments, most of whom die as a result. Tanaka Tanaka is Hideyoshi Iwatsu's aide and right-hand man, more trusted by Hideyoshi than he does his own son. Tanaka is a brilliant manipulator. His arrogance blinds him, however, and leads to stupid mistakes on his part. Volume 2 Angelo Mortali has been subjected against his will to a scientific experiment that has remade him into the ultimate killing machine an engine of destruction codenamed Bloodshot. But, in the process, his memories were lost. His creators mean to use him as a weapon. An unstoppable assassin. But he breaks free and escapes. In this rendition, the writer Len Kaminsky elaborates on Bloodshot's nanotechnology. They turn out to be like sentient beings that see him as their god and provoke him to self-induce a trance-like state using a mixture of substances in order to communicate with him directly. Deadly operatives of the super-secret government agency that sponsored his creation hunt him down. Following a broken trail of fragmentary recollections, Bloodshot fights a running battle against them, the mob and the police. Characters Bloodshot the first and only success of Project Lazarus. Bloodshot is a miracle of technology, far exceeding his creator's expectations. Microscopic machines called nanites injected into his blood maximize his physicality, heal his wounds, extend his senses and imbue him with the ability to interface with any electronic device. In his former life as Angelo Mortali, he learns. He was a rising star in a New York crime family, but the trail doesn't end there. He was someone else before he was Mortali, who was Raymond Garrison. Simon O'Reck the director-in-chief of the Domestic Operations Authority. 
a covert operations arm of the United States government. An information trader, his business is knowledge and he has his eyes and ears in every branch of government all of which is fed to him constantly by the wall of computers and monitors that fill his office. Despite usually preferring his department to remain behind the scenes, OREC offers to commit DOA resources to helping the FBI extract information on the Chanethli crime family from the brain of recently deceased mobster Angelo Mortali. But as always, OREC is hiding his true motives. Dr. Frederick J. Stroheim son of Nazi scientist Klaus Stroheim, the Mengele of Dachau, Frederick inherited his father's genius and his utter inhumanity. Project Lazarus is his brainchild. Gina De Carlo in the process of eliminating all evidence that Angelo Mortali ever existed, DOA operatives expunged all documentation, raised his home, and even had phone books reprinted without his name. He also discovers that they coldly murdered Gina, the love of his life, to silence her. As if he didn't hate them enough already. The Chainsaw known as the Special Circumstances Division codename, the Chainsaw are a highly trained team of mercenaries that work for the Domestic Operations Authority. Utilizing a state-of-the-art group combat technology called Chainlink, the members of the Chainsaw are provided with instant data and communication tools that allow for perfect combat tactics and strategy. Each member is specialized in one area of covert warfare, and utilizes the latest in DOA technology. Michael Pileggia made man in the Chanethli crime family. Michael Pilecki is one of the few who know the truth behind Angelo Mortali's death. Don Chanethli had ordered Pilecki to fake a funeral for Mortali in order to prevent the Don's daughter and Mortali's girlfriend Gina from becoming suspicious when he hears that someone has been asking questions about Mortali and killing his men for answers. He becomes paranoid and holds up in his heavily guarded mansion. Volume 3 There are 17 issues and counting in this volume, including a 2012 relaunch by Valiant Publishing. Bloodshot is a man searching for his identity. He is a weapon, one built for military destruction. Using false memories the government has motivated him to do things while believing to himself that he was protecting an imagined family. But no more. When the weapon awakens, it malfunctions thus beginning a war over the control of Bloodshot's mind. Leaving a trail of destruction he breaks away from the military base he is being held at. A man marked with grey skin and a red mark on his chest, Bloodshot chooses to trust no one as he fights to figure out who he used to be, and what it is he has become. Series written by Dwayne Swazinski. The series tied into the Harbinger Wars event with issues 10 through 13. Starting with issue 14, the series is retitled Bloodshot and Hardcore, with the character as a member of the Hardcore team. The series will cross over with Archer and Armstrong in a story arc titled, Mission. Improbable. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like to know more?